guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is on contouring um, the basics 101 contouring for beginners and I'm gonna go into detail and kind of show you guys how I contour this schnoz now this nose here is not fully 100% blended out I did it a little bit more detailed and a little bit darker just to kind of show you guys I guess in detail like you know the application and so forth um, but I will show you guys in detail how I contour this bulbous schnoz and if you guys want to see the tutorial on this eye look that I created using the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette then click on that video um, I did film these together and in, in, in tandem but I made them separate videos so that it would not be super long since all of my videos are long anyway because you guys know that I like to talk and kind of pass on tips um, rather than just kind of just saying well I'm going into the crease with a large fluffy brush and then it's blended out and there's movie magic I do kind of talk you guys through the steps and kind of explain why I do what and the same thing with this contouring video I do show you guys some different contour palettes and kind of talk about what is a good one for beginners if you guys are brand new and you've never done any contouring just kind of show you guys my recommendations on kind of where to start and kind of explain the whole kind of shade and light concept and talk about you know shade and light and kind of how it works together um, with the high points on the face and you know where you contour and kind of where you highlight and you know how lighting plays a role in all of that so yeah if you guys want to kind of learn some basics on contouring if you're a beginner and see how I contoured my little bulbous schnoz here then just keep watching and if you guys want to see that tutorial on this eye look then just click that video which is above or below this but anyway that's it for this intro um, I do want to keep this short so if you guys are new here welcome my name is Lauren Jade I'm 57 I have mature crepey wrinkly skin I have hooded eyes so all of my tutorials are kind of revolving around the situation that I have which is crepey skin and hooded eyes so you guys will notice that I do things a little bit differently on my channel but today's video is on contouring and especially contouring the bulbous nose and just showing you guys how I contour and how I get some definition so that my nose isn't looking so big so that's it so if you guys are new please hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell that way YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video so that's it and let's just get into this contouring 101 all right so I thought I would show you guys I did film a tutorial on this eye look right here using the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette if you guys want to see how I got this eye look then click on the video I think it's right going to be above or below this one this is not going to be a in-depth um, tutorial for every single nose shape that there is I'm focusing on the bulbous tip shape because that is what I've got um, so and it's not going to be kind of for intermediate and advanced this is strictly for beginners that know nothing about contouring I'm gonna show you guys um, some good beginner contour palettes we're going to talk about bronzers versus contours as far as you know contouring we're going to talk about how shade and light play together and how they work together and all of that so if you guys are interested in seeing all of that then just keep watching I'm gonna grab some different contour palettes here all right, I am going to just do a little bit of baking on my under eye area. So to kind of understand, this is just um, basic contouring. This is strictly for beginners. So if you guys are intermediate and advanced, you guys might want to click off because you probably already know this stuff already. So before we get into the nose contouring, we're just going to talk about contouring 101, just the basics of contouring. And that starts with shade and light so we all know that you can look beautiful in certain lighting and then we can look really kind of like not so beautiful in other types of lighting lighting plays everything when it comes to shadows I know if I have a direct light source coming down right on top of me it's gonna make my nose look freaking huge um, and we all know that harsh sunlight midday sunlight is the most unforgiving it's also the most unflattering um, so yes you can look beautiful in certain lighting and you can look not so good in other lighting so you have to understand the whole concept of shade and light so where there's shade there's light and they work together so we often kind of highlight 
up in this area right here and we contour right to below that when we're kind of contouring you know if you do this type of contour and just kind of chisel out in the hollows here of the face um, the same thing with our nose you know we highlight down the center but we contour on the sides so basically these are like the quote high planes of the face if you will even with our eyes I do you guys know I do eye contouring with my eyes so I'm contouring in through the hollows of the eye and the socket bone right here and I'm adding lightness and brightness on the lid and on the inner corner so just that whole concept of where there's shade there's light and they work together so when you think of contouring it's not just contouring you also are highlighting so I'm going to show you guys some basic um, contour palettes, if you will. I'm going to show you guys just a few of the ones that I have. I'm not going to show you like all of them because I don't want to overwhelm, but I do want to just point out a couple. This was my very first contour palette. It is called You Sculpt It from It Cosmetics. And I'm going to show you, there is a chart in here. I'm going to pull this chart out just to kind of show you guys the basics and I like this palette because I noticed that the shades had kind of a warm tone and we're gonna get into that we're gonna talk about bronzers can you use a bronzer um, as a contour you can if the bronzer is a neutral tone all right I'm gonna get into this in just a second but I got off on this tangent now of bronzer so this hula bronzer I'm gonna show you guys this Hula bronzer here. You guys know that I always bronze my crease with this hula bronzer. This is a neutral bronzer. This is a bronzer that has a little bit of a slightly grayish undertone, which is what most contour powders do have. So people will tell you that a true contour um, powder has a grayish undertone because that mimics shadows. So a lot of people will say if you want to truly contour, you need to do it with a quote true contour with a grayish undertone and not a bronzer. That has some truth, but honestly, not everybody looks good in gray, ashy undertones. I know that it looks muddy on me. I know that I cannot do a true grayish undertone. So the Hula bronzer works really well because it's not a orangey bronzer it's a bronzer that has a slight neutralish undertone with a little bit of a grayish so it, it uh, and it also has some warmth so it is not a quote orangey bronzer which you definitely do not want to contour with so getting back to you sculpt it let me show you what the palette looks like it comes with a kind of a radiant highlight so you have a shimmer one and then you have a matte one and then you have four different contour colors here you have a light contour a soft a medium and a deep so you have ones for different skin tones and you also have ones for different areas of the face maybe you want to contour and chisel the bottom of the cheeks a little bit darker than you do say the nose you know what whatever so but i was drawn to this because of the fact that this looked like, you know, contouring made easy for a beginner, which I was when I got this. I didn't know anything at all about contouring, and I just thought this was a good place to start. Plus, these shades did not have, you can see, they don't have a grayish undertone. I mean, this one kind of does, but these just kind of screamed a little bit more warm undertone, and that's what drew me to this palette. So let's, let me show you guys this. So it comes with this little pamphlet here that kind of shows you the basics of where you put your contour versus where you put your highlights. And it also really goes through, and it's a pretty detailed brochure, actually. I'm going to open it up. It just really talks about, like, all the different areas where you can see. So it really talks about all the different areas on your body, you know, where you put the shade, where you put the light, and all of that. So this palette is great if you are a beginner. So let me pull out some other palettes that I have here. This is the um, Smashbox Cali Contour Palette, which looks like this. This also has a matte bronzer and a matte blush. Comes with a matte um, highlight. And then you have this 
undertone right here. You can see that this one is a grayish. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but this is definitely a grayish undertone. And then you have two um, highlights. So you can see that in almost every single highlight and contour, or every single contour palette, you have both the highlight and the contour. I want to also show this one because I've got two more here that I want to show. The Kat Von D as well as the Park Avenue Princess. So let's take a look at this one just really briefly. Again, you can see it has different color shades for different skin tones um, and also some are lighter, some are deeper if you want to contour you know, certain areas um, darker than others. And then you've got your two highlights. So I think in here, these are both mattes. I'm not sure if this one is a shimmer. Um, but yeah, I think they're all mattes here. But I do believe that these two right here are shimmers. And then you've got two mattes. Um, but I think both of these highlights are mattes. And then the big one, the Kat Von D. This is like an amazing one right here. Palette looks like this. This has literally been a bestseller. Um, so you've got three highlighting shades. You have one with a little bit of a peachy undertone. You have one that's like a banana undertone. And then, of course, you have this one, which is your basic ivory. You've got three. You've got light, medium, and dark. These two have a little bit more warmth into them, where this one just is, you know, more grayish undertone. So this one is a great palette, too, to start with. You, you can't go wrong with this. Um, I also have the... Kat Von D cream contour palette, which looks like this. Now, I don't like cream contours because they just look absolutely muddy on me. So, I, I, I don't know. I just don't do anything with cream contouring. But it is fun to play with every once in a while. But if you're going to contour with a cream, you better have your blending skills on point. Because otherwise, it's just going to be a big old hot mess because when you're cream contouring you really really need to be able to blend and blend well otherwise it's just not gonna look good all right I think that is it for the contour palettes that I just want to show you guys there's so many out there I have quite a few other ones I'm trying to see if I have any other ones oh I did get I did get this new one. It's a limited edition Guerlain. And as you can well imagine, it smells amazing. It smells like all of my bronzers. But this one is a terracotta. This is called the Contour and Glow Palette. So you've got your kind of like a lighter bronzer shade. Then you got a deeper contour one. And then you have a blush and a highlight that are shimmers. And I got this one because, first of all, I love anything to do with Guerlain. I just love their bronzers. I have several of them. Um, but these two just look like something that I could literally use like as a bronzer. I could put this on the perimeter of the face and then I could use this one as more of a all over warmth or as a light kind of a bronzer and I could contour the perimeter with this shade. So that's why I got this palette. Just a quick and simple contour. Now let's get into the bulbous nose specifically. Let's just get into this nose contouring. Whew, that was a lot in one clip. I hope I remember to say everything, and I hope that what I was saying was somewhat clear. I did try to say things a couple times just to kind of emphasize certain points. Um, but again, just to recap, if you are new to sculpting and highlighting and you really want to start that contouring um, stuff, I would start with the It Cosmetics You Sculpt It because you do get this brochure that details and explains everything in terms of shade and light. You also wanna get a good contouring brush. This one is really good. This is the Kat Von D one, but um, any company I think makes a dual-ended contour type brush. This one is good for your highlights, and this one angled, you can really get in there and just kinda of chisel if you're working down in here and you just really wanna sculpt this area. So this is what a contour highlight dual-ended brush looks like. Again, this is the Kat Von D one. Um, all right, so let's get into contouring on the nose with a bulbous tip. So the traditional type of contouring is just to do the two stripes down the nose. That might work if you have a flat nose or if you have a you know nose with a defined tip, um, which if you have a bulbous tip, you have a round little ball on your nose. You don't have that chiseled tip. Um, so 
doing the two stripes down the side of the nose is not really going to work with a bulbous tip and if you contour wrong or if you contour not for your particular nose shape which you really definitely want to know what your nose shape is before you go in and try to correct if you will um, because you can make the shape look even not worse but you can accentuate what you don't want to accentuate if you are not contouring for your specific nose shape it's the same thing with you know the eyeshadow you guys have heard me say this over and over on all of my eye tutorials and I'm just gonna say this again I have hooded eyes so I like to shade the hood I like to cheat my lid space I like to make sure that I'm bringing you know structure and definition and depth and dimension to this hooded eye because it is a hooded eye I do not have a crease with hooded eyes you don't have that you have some skin fold and you have a hood in place of your crease so the hood actually hangs down over the crease and over the lid um, and so it's a little bit of a different animal to work with so you kind of have to know the same thing with knowing your eye shape um, knowing what your specific nose shape is so I'm not going to cover all of the different types of nose shapes and how to contour all of them you guys can find that and research that this is specifically just for the bulbous tip all right, so let's get into contouring this schnoz. All right, so I'm going to start with, I'm going to show you guys how I just do a super quickie contour. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys how I chisel and kind of do a little bit more defined contour. So one is kind of like I'm in a hurry. I'm just going to do throw something on really quick and the other is spending a little bit more time in hitting some of the other areas and just kind of making it a little bit more chiseled and blended if you will so I'm gonna start with the hula because I have a lot of these hula bronzers because I have a lot of the benefit palettes so I'm always contouring my crease with the hula and I always start out by putting in a little bit right up here I kind of swirl up here I like to brush this up towards the brow and then I will take it down here I'm gonna just kind of wipe away a little bit of this baking powder here that I've got going on so I can kind of show you guys so I'm gonna swirl a little bit up here I kind of brush it towards the brow and then I bring it down into this bridge here so I like to kind of connect my eyeshadow work here with this bridge. So this is what I do. And I don't take it down here. I'm not going to be drawing the two stripes. And I am going to be switching brushes. So with this, I'm just going to kind of show you guys how I work with this front part. So I swirl a little bit right up here in the upper socket bone. I like to push it up towards the brow. And then I like to connect it into this bridge part. So right in here all right next I'm gonna take a really tiny slim angled brush I think this is one from elf cosmetics and I'm gonna take the same thing and I'm going to start up in here and I'm just going to put this down in here now I am gonna do it a little bit more exaggerated um, just so that you guys can see the actual placement and the closer you take these lines if you will the slimmer your nose is going to look versus the farther you take them so I'm just going to take this down to keep it right right on this bone right here I'm not gonna go too close in you see some people that take these two brown stripes like almost like right next to each other and their nose is like snatched to high heaven I'm not gonna do that I think that works good for people that actually have a really kind of a thin nose to begin with all right so I'm just gonna go in a little bit here and just go right on this bone All right, so I'm doing this a little bit more intensely just so that you guys can see the actual placement. If you are brand new at contouring, unless you are really like a master at blending, I would start out with like powder 
as opposed to cream contour. Some people like to use cream and then re-intensify it again with the powder just for longevity purposes. Um, you know, it works. I think you get a beautiful result with cream contouring, but again, I think you got to be a master at blending. You got to really know what you're doing. So, all right. So now I have these kind of lines kind of where I want it. And I kind of stopped right before the bulbous tip. Um, and you'll notice on, you know, real contouring videos that they do when they have like a normal perfect smaller nose, they'll take those stripes all the way straight down. So with a bulbous tip, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to take a little bit of powder now and I'm going to kind of define my tip. I'm just going to put a little bit on this. All right, I'm gonna grab a tiny bit more. Make sure you tap off the excess so that you don't have so that you don't end up with like a big old glob of powder. All right, so I can see in this mirror that this is really, really intense. And that's fine because I'm just doing it darker so you guys can see. Okay, so this is how I'm contouring this tip. I'm going right following here I'm just kind of doing a little sprout and I'm going to eventually tie this in it's going to kind of end up looking almost like kind of like a little horseshoe I guess if you will I'm going to go around not around the whole bulbous part but right on the widest part right here and just kind of go around and then I'm going to kind of bring it back and connect it into these lines right here. So I'm just going to kind of make a little, almost like a little horseshoe shape. Now you can go down here and put another little line like on the side, which will just kind of shorten this nasal part right here. Um, I know that a lot of people like to do that, but I'm just going to focus on this right here. And I'm going to connect it into where I'm chiseling right here. And then I'm going to connect it to the two, the two lines here. Because I hate my nose so much and would like to have a nose job, I contour the nose. I enjoy contouring my nose. I don't typically contour chiseling here and I don't do a lot of contouring like around the perimeter of the face I just mainly do eye contouring and um, a little bit of the nose contouring but I do like to do highlighting I do like to highlight underneath the under eye area all right so once I have this little tiny little horseshoe here and I have kind of sculpted out the tip when you have a bulbous nose you don't have a sculpted nose tip so we are going to kind of give the illusion that we've got a little bit of a tip going on, which is why we are contouring in this area. So I have made this little horseshoe now right around here, and I have connected it to these two lines right here. Now it's time to grab a little bit of highlight, and I think I'm going to use the... I think I'm just gonna grab the, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the highlight from the Kat Von D um, and I'm gonna take this banana powder shade because that's really pretty for contouring and I'm just gonna grab any brush here. I'm just gonna use this Laura Mercier little smoker brush and I'm just gonna put the line. Now, if you have a bulbous tip, you may not want to accentuate that little tip you may, but you may want to just kind of stop. You can also, if you want to kind of make a little quote button nose, um, you can grab a little bit of contour. You can kind of cut this area off right here and just kind of follow that bulbous around and then just kind of lighten the tip if you want to give the illusion that you of the button nose type effect. Um, but I'm just going to do this for now because we're just going to keep this really simple. 
We're not gonna, I don't wanna add any more lines here because this is already dark enough. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna go back in with this. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this middle shade right here because it'll be darker and it'll kind of show the lines here. So I'm just gonna straighten up here, go around my little horseshoe right here. Just kind of go through that. Now what I'm gonna do is actually blend. And when you blend, you want to make sure, I need to grab a, all right, I'm just gonna use this. All right, so when you blend, you want to kind of blend this kind of down here towards the nose, but you wanna blend it into the highlight. And I didn't highlight, because I was baking, I didn't highlight the sides, but I'm gonna do that now so you guys can get the full effect. So I'm gonna take this. And I would be highlighting like here because I want to create the illusion that this part of my nose right here is kind of connected into this under eye area here. So I'm just going to, so I'm just going to contour like right here. Contour, highlight. All right. So, all right. So now we're going to blend this contour into the highlight. And I'm going to use a, you know what, I forgot to show you guys this brush right here. So when you get the You Sculpt It, I forgot to show you guys this. So this brush is what comes with this kit right here. So when you get the You Sculpt It, um, I got the brush with it. I think I got this maybe on HSN. Um, but you can see that it's a sculpting brush and it's flat on the edge. So you can really get in there and sculpt if you're going to do the under eye. I mean, under right here, you really can sculpt with this because it's shaped for sculpting. You can also sculpt on your nose, which is what I do when I'm in a hurry. I will often just kind of go like this and just kind of blend these two together. And then I go back in. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to make sure that these sides are blended. I sometimes use, all right, these are my chiseling brushes. So any one of these defining brushes from Sigma. So I'm going to further blend these now so that it doesn't look like I have two stripes here and it doesn't look like there's a line of demarcation on the side. This is a precision, this is called the flat angle. This is the P88 from Sigma. I have all of their precision brushes. They are great for detailed work. And this one, especially because it's angled and it's pointed. So I'm gonna take the point and I'm just gonna show you how you can use this for contouring. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the tip and you can just create your line like that. I'm gonna go up from this side, actually. It helps to turn from this side. And then I'm gonna do that little horseshoe and I'm gonna come back around and just kind of sculpt the actual tip. And then I'm gonna use the flat side of this and I'm just going to bring this down so that it kind of melts into the highlights. You really want this, I'm gonna grab just a tiny bit more. You really want this to come down and just kind of look like it's just really kind of melts into it. And that's why working with powders, if you're a beginner, is so much easier than doing a cream contour. And I don't know why, but cream contours always look muddy on me. So when I do contour, I use powders. So if I'm doing more of a detailed contour on the nose, this is what it will look like. Um, I also like to go in and just really tap. Again, you guys know that I do a lot of pressing and tapping with my eyeshadows. This is no different. I'm just gonna kind of tap here and just kind of soften this. We want it to kind of look like it's kind of all meshes and it just kind of all melts together. I'm going to grab a, actually, you know what? All right. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly now what I do this works. Now, if I'm just doing a super quickie, fast 
on the run kind of contour and I just want to kind of get a little bit of quote color on the nose because I don't have time to do the blending or the chiseling and you know kind of sculpt everything out I will take this brush and I'll usually take like a light this is the soft contour so I usually will take like this light one and I will just go like this I will just kind of give it a little quickie chisel it's like a little quickie definition it's like that and then I'll take like a precision brush, something that's like pointed or tipped, and I might just grab a little tiny bit and just kind of go like around the little schnoz really quickly just with a little bit of powder and then again like this. And then I'll put a little bit of highlights in the center and boom, that is it. So one is a little bit more quickie and the other is just a little bit more chiseled. So. You can kind of see how it really just adds definition and really kind of helps out when you have a bulbous schnoz. So I'm going to just touch this up now. And that is it. That concludes this video. Now I think I can actually spray my face. I didn't spray my face earlier when I did my after I finished this eye look because I was going to film this contouring video. So now I can go ahead and spray this face. All right. That is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And don't forget, if you guys want to see the video on how I got this eye look using this Naked Heat palette, then click on that video. I think it's going to be either above or below this one. And that is it. Love you guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye.